Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. This video is structural equation modeling using AMOS part 11. In this video, we will be discussing about hypothesis testing. For hypothesis testing, I am going to use an example which I used in my previous video of exploratory factor analysis. In exploratory factor analysis, we have taken theory of planned behavior containing 5 observed variables that is attitude, subjective norm, perceived behavior control, intention and behavior and we have explored what is the feasible model <coughs> of relation between these five variables and we have uh, discussed about model fit and the impact of one variable on other variable in the previous video. So taking the same video I want to do hypothesis testing. Let me do calculate estimate and see the output path and let me view text. In view text if I see the degree of freedom is 1. So number of distinct sample movements are 15, number of distinct parameters to be estimated are 14, degree of freedom is 1. Okay, chi-square in this case is 1.141. Let me see the model fit. In model fit, the minimum discrepancy is 1.141. The GFI, goodness fit index, indices is 0 0.998. The model is fit. Now if I see the estimates, all estimates are significant and the covariance or correlation between the variables, if I see p-value is significant, p-value should be less than 0 0.05. So the correlation or covariance between subjective norm to perceived behavior attitude to subject to norm and attitude to perceived behavior all are significant the covariance is significant okay now i want to make one null hypothesis i take this example and i want to make a null hypothesis that there is no correlation between perceived behavior to attitude Okay, I want to make another hypothesis saying that the assumption is there is no correlation between perceived behavior control to attitude. Okay, before I do this, just let me execute and check once the degree of freedom and chi square. The degree of freedom is 1.141. Sorry, the chi-square is 1.141, degree of freedom is 1. Oh, just remember these values. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to make the correlation between perceived behavior to attitude is 0. Okay, so the covariance I am making as 0. And let me execute once again, calculate, estimate. view output path. Now you can see the covariance between attitude to perceived behavior is 0. Let me go for view text. In this, if I see here, the degree of freedom has increased by 1. Earlier in other case it is 1. It has now become 2. The degree of freedom has increased by 1. Whereas chi-square which was 1.141 has increased to 103.559. So the change in degree of freedom is around 102.11. 
so the degree of freedom is increasing by 1 but chi square is increasing by 102 so this is not the correct model if degree of freedom increases by 1 chi square should increase but not in a fold of hundreds and if I see my model fit the GFI has come down it was earlier 0 0.998 now it has become 0 0.895 see the minimum discrepancy should be less than 5 but minimum discrepancy has become 51.779 so the null hypothesis what I made is accepted that is sorry the null hypothesis what I made is rejected that what is the rejection in the sense there is a correlation between perceived behavior control and attitude I come again once again in the earlier case I have model fit and my minimum discrepancy is less than 5 so when I maintain the covariance between these two variables as 0 the minimum discrepancy is not achieved the goodness of fit is also not achieved it has earlier 0 0.998 now it has become 0 0.895 and the chi square has increased like 10102 where degree of freedom has increased only by 1 this all indicates that the null hypothesis should be rejected in the sense there is a correlation between perceived behavior control and attitude so this is a uh, one of the method how we can create one hypothesis and we can say whether accept it or reject the null hypothesis i wish this uh, video is informative and useful for your analysis thank you